Welcome to another episode of Extra Photography. My name is Daniel. Today we are going to uh, take a look at uh, something called filter offset. So, uh, what is filter offset? Well, uh, actually, the light coming in through the telescope into the camera uh, focuses at different points. So, I printed just a simple layout. Um, here you can see uh, a basic illustration of how the colors is uh, focusing at different points. So in order to cope with that, um, we can add uh, offsets uh, in sequence um, so that the program itself will compensate for those uh, figures. So this is what we're going to take a look at today. Follow along. Okay, so here we are. Uh, what we're going to do now is take basically a shitload of um, autofocus routines. And so I am starting off with the luminance filter. Um, the luminance filter is uh, what I have chosen for the reference filter, which all other filters is going to be compared to. So I made a simple spreadsheet here. Um, I can post a link to that spreadsheet if you guys want to use it. Here you can see that I have uh, made a table uh, which uh, states I'm going to take five readings for each filter. So this process will take a while and I will just show you how the program is um, doing all this. Um, so taking uh, take readings and compare those figures here. So the first reading is 18.06 and that is the focus position. It, the figure itself doesn't say anything. It's just a focus position. So we'll start taking another reading here. Um, the lights is uh, quite a bit faster than the, especially the narrow band filters um, because um, uh, the light itself um, is stronger. So I'll pause the recording now and come back. Okay, um, here we are. Um, I've taken uh, quite a lot of readings now. Um, this whole process has taken me about half an hour. Some programs actually have this process automated. Um, sequence from Astro System Austria hasn't. Uh, so this measurement was 17.92 uh, and we're off with the last uh, measurement. Um, as you can see compared to uh, the measurement we made with the luminance filter uh, it takes uh, quite a lot or more time to complete because it has to expose more so we will just wait out this measurement and we have a complete list in the spreadsheet. Um, about this number, the average is uh, basically all the readings summed together and divided by the number of readings, in this case five. So that is the average number. And we are comparing all the filters to the luminance filter, hence the luminance column doesn't have any figure in the uh, diff uh, differentia cell okay so i believe we're just about to get finished here 17.9 okay so we have all the figures here i'm going to exit the focus routine and here we have the uh, sequence program and we are going to uh, add all the numbers. So uh, we can see here that the red filter is off by 0 0.11 and that it was I am going to write in the column. The green is off by 0 minus 0 0.07 and uh, yeah 
basically we want to add all the numbers here. I can also mention that this process is also temperature critical. So I tried this routine uh, the other week and uh, I had to redo all of them because during the session, uh, the, the half an hour or one hour it took altogether, during that time the temperature dropped almost 10 degrees. What this program is doing is that it remembers those numbers so when we are running a full sequence, when it changes filter, it will automatically apply that offset number. Uh, some programs have autofocus routine um, after every filter change, and uh, some has this approach here. What is left now is running a full sequence with test images to see if uh, the focus is uh, good. And uh, I will be shooting a lot of narrow band so I will take a especially close look to that one. So here we have a test shot of the bubble nebula. This is a non-edited image 180 seconds and it looks amazing. Thank you everyone out there for watching my movies and if you have any questions comments just type them below and I try to answer them. Um, keep safe out there. Bye!